Hello friends, welcome to this part of the video series on image classification using TensorFlow. In the previous three parts, we have learned first how to load the data, second how to create a CNN model and third how to train a simple CNN model. So in this section, we will understand a concept of transfer learning that means we will leverage the facilities of already learned model and build our own CNN model. So let's look into the documentation if I search for application. So we have a package called application under tf.keras. That applications has so many already learned CNN networks like DenseNet, EfficientNet, MobileNet, ResNet, and VGG and exceptions as well. So let's say VGG 16. So we have a module called tf.keras.applications.vgg16 and it has a function VGG16. So this will build a model VGG16 from the arguments we provide. So these arguments, you can read more about it here and we will use include top as false. When it will build the model, it will not use the top three fully connected layer of the network. We will use ImageNet weights and we will provide the input shape. So let's get started. First, let me import the libraries that we are going to need. Second, we will build our image data generator. So we have around 14K images for six classes for training and 3000 images for validation and around 7000 images for testing purpose. Now we will build our model from VGG16. So we will call it as a base model. We'll use weights of ImageNet, uh, input shape, of 256, 256 and three channels and we will include top and set it to false. So now there are two, three things that you can, you know, use here. First, since I have, you can see, I have used the base model trainable to false. That means the whole base model will use the weight, existing weight and not update the weight during the training process. Second, you can make it as a true and it will update the weights of the existing VGG16 layer during the training process or otherwise you can look into the VGG16 network and choose the layers that you want to, you know, make trainable. That means those layers that you will choose only be trained during the process and other layers will not be affected. For demonstration purpose, I will use the base model dot trainable equals to false. But again, in order to train the whole model, you can use trainable equals to true. Or in order to train some layers of the VGG16 model, you can make those layer trainable equals to true. So let me run this cell. Now we will build our model on top of the base model. So we will use sequential and the first layer will be our base model, then global average pooling, flatten and output dense layer with six classes. And let me print the summary as well. Okay, so you can see that the output of VG16 is eight cross eight and 512 uh, filters and that will be followed by pulling layer and flattening layer there is no parameter here to train we will use this dense layer to you know train over the six classes and there are like 3k parameters so there are total 14 lakhs parameters out of which we will just train 3000 parameter i will compile the model and once the model is compiled we can 
fit the model with our training and validation set. So let me run this cell. You can see the training is started. So I'll resume the video once the training is finished. So the model training is finished now and you can see we got some good accuracy. Now let's visualize the training history. Since there are two epochs, there is not much to see, but you can you know, find the code to plot the history. Now let's use predict method for our test generator and see the predictions. So here are the predictions. Now again, let's save the model under models and let's say transfer learning dot h5. So here is the model. Let me copy the relative path. Let's load the model now uh, into a new model variable. Oh. Oh, sorry. Yeah, that is this. We have loaded the model into new model variable. Let's see the summary. Okay. Now let's again use the same piece of code to predict on a single image. And you can see we got the probability. So I hope you have gained some knowledge from this video series. We learn many things during this video series. We first understood how to load the data, then create CNN model. Then we trained a simple CNN model. And then finally we learn transfer learning. If you feel that my work is helpful to you, please consider subscribing to my channel. It helps. Thank you for watching. See you in upcoming videos. Peace.